What's up YouTubers, Johnny DIY here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to change the brake pads on the Toyota Highlander. If you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing. I do a lot of these automotive and DIY household projects. Alright, let's get to it. Put the parking brake on. Chalk the wheels. We'll go ahead and break loose all of our lug nuts. Jack it up. If you want to see how I made these little jack pinch weld adapter and jack pad, check out this video right here. Keeps it from scratching, keeps this from damaging your pinch welds. Put some jack stands underneath it. We'll go ahead and take the wheels off. It's a good idea to rotate your tires if you've got them all four off. All right, so we're going to be changing these back ones today, and they both have disc brakes. This one just has smaller discs in the back. See on the front ones, it's got larger discs. And see here, I wanted to show you the difference in the size of the brake pads. These ones on the right are the uh, ones for the front, and the smaller ones are for the smaller discs in the back. But it's the same job, just different size pads. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and loosen our caliper slide pin bolts, which is this one and this one here. Not to be confused with this bolt back here and this other one down there. Those are going to be your caliper mounting bolts. You'd want to loosen those ones if you want to take off the whole caliper and replace that or get to your rotors to replace those. But these rotors look like they're in good shape. Just go ahead and feel the front and the back and make sure they're not really grooved really bad. Alright, so we'll go ahead and put our 14 wrench on that. Loosen it up a little bit and we'll loosen up that lower one too go ahead and take out this top one all the way okay all right then there's a little bolt holding our brake line on 12 millimeter we'll go ahead and take that off all right there we go all right now we can go ahead and open it on up and get access to our brake pads right here okay we'll just take our flat head and just gently pry these brake pads out come right out of the little brake shoe clips and we'll do it on the back side as well just pry it out a little bit now you can check to make sure that they're wearing evenly there's nothing wrong with the calipers looks good see how much more worn down there look how thick that is on the left compared to the one on the right good idea to give those clips a little cleaning get off all that dust and stuff you can actually replace these if they're pretty uh, rusted and worn out. You just pop them out with a flathead, pop them up. And then here's our uh, brake caliper piston right here. Just give that a little cleaning too. Okay, before we put the new brake pads in, we're going to have to compress this uh, caliper piston back. So just slip the tool in, put an old brake pad in to press it in. And we'll just squeeze this so that uh, the piston will go back in until it gets all the way back in. And uh, you could just, you don't need this tool, you could use um, like a big C-clamp or some, you know, monster channel locks if you have some, but, you know, this tool's only a few dollars. Alright, there, it's bottomed out, so now we can just go ahead and take this out. Now see the pistons all the way in, which will accommodate our new brake pads. Alright, before we put in the new pads, we're going to take some of this brake lubricant and we're going to put some on the ears of the brake pads right on the part where it's going to be contacting these uh, brake clips right here and this will help prevent squeaking and uh, you're also going to want to use this on your uh, caliper pins I've got a separate video on how to um, lube up those guide pins those slide pins so we'll put a little on the back too now we can slide the pads in they just slip right into the grooves right here right here and right here and you just push it in we'll do the same thing to the back ones and snap those in be careful not to get grease on the face of the pad snaps in just like the front all right now we can go ahead and lift our caliper back up we'll slip that top slide pin bolt back in we'll tighten it down it only needs to be about 20 25 pounds of torque so it's not too tight don't you don't have to over tighten these ones and we'll do the bottom one too there we go. We'll put that little 12 millimeter bolt holding the brake line back on. Go ahead and put some of this anti-seize on your lugs before we put the wheels back on so it doesn't seize up. Alright, now we can put our wheels back on. Go ahead and lower it down off the jack. We'll go ahead and torque our wheels back on. And that's it guys. Alright, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you guys are new, consider subscribing. 
And uh, thanks for watching Johnny DIY, guys. Uh, check out my Patreon page, too, if you want to help support the channel. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Keep on being yourself. Take care.